In this video, I'll share my top tips for shooting through windows without getting all those nasty reflections. Adorama TV presents Take and Make Great Photography with Gavin Hoey, where you'll learn how to take stunning photos and then polish them in post-production. Hello, I'm Gavin Hoey and you're watching Adorama TV, brought to you by Adorama, the camera store that has everything for us photographers. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to photograph through glass windows without seeing reflections. So I'm here in New York City, I'm at the Yotel on the 22nd floor of my room, and you can see why I want to photograph through the glass windows. Just have a look at that view, absolutely incredible from up here. Trouble is, if I just take a picture, I'm all set up and, you know, you snap away. On the back of the camera, they look fine. But it's not until you start getting closer that you start seeing things aren't quite as good. There's some odd reflections, things reflected in the glass and something that even looks a bit like my, my face or my hand. It's just not great. So follow my simple tips and your reflection problems will be almost completely solved. Tip number one, really obvious, no flash. Well, when I say no flash, I mean no on-camera flash, okay? So the little pop-up flash, that's a no-no because if you take a picture with the pop-up flash on, well, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that that is never gonna be a great shot. Tip number two is to clean the glass really well and not just right in front of the camera go right the way across particularly if you're using a wide angle lens you'll be surprised how far it stretches now fairly obviously you can clean the glass on the inside but i'm 22 floors up there's no way i can clean the glass on the outside and these windows don't open so there's not much i can actually do now in those circumstances tip number three is to shoot when the sun is not directly onto the glass because that will show the dirt and the grime on the outside that you can't control. Similarly, if it's at a bit of an angle, that's not good either. Either wait for the sun to go down or wait for the sun to be behind you so you're shooting uh, with the sun on your back. Tip number four is really if you're shooting an evening shot, a low light situation, turn off the lights in your room if you can to minimize the amount of reflections you get on the inside pane of the glass. So by doing that, you'll find that your reflections will be greatly reduced and your evening and nighttime shots will look 100% better. Don't forget to check out Adorama's latest contest and your chance to win amazing prizes. Next tip is simply do go closer with your camera if you can. So rather than shooting from back here, which gives me problems with the reflections, if I just lean my lens in until it actually touches the glass, the area in which I'm going to see reflections is massively reduced and therefore the amount of reflections are going to be reduced as well. Just a word of caution though, if you're doing this when you're photographing through a window of something like an airplane or a train or something where there's, there's movement and shaking, if you rest your lens against the glass, you run the risk of increased camera shake because of that shaking. Maybe just back it off just a half inch or so to re reduce and remove that risk. So the next tip is really about the angle at which you face the glass. Now, ideally, to minimize reflection, don't go for a bit of an angle. Try and shoot straight on to the glass like that. The more directly you can look through it, the less reflections you get. The more oblique your angle, the more reflections you get. But the trouble is, I really don't like the look of the direct shot. I mean, it's not bad, but I much prefer it when I'm over here shooting at that angle. Trouble is, at that angle, I'm getting a ton of reflections from all of this white stuff, the, the window frame, the whatever this, this door is made out of. It's all reflecting in the glass. So you need the black bag trick. What's the black bag trick? Well, it's not actually a black bag, it's just anything that's black, matte black material is ideal. And this, well, this isn't anything special. You can't buy this at Adorama because <laughs> it's just at my black jacket. Um, it's not a one-off, but uh, this is mine. So this is the, the jacket I've been wearing around New York when I've been walking around here. And being black is perfect. Let me show you. So without the jacket, 
Uh, I'm getting some reflections. With the jacket, well, what I'm gonna do, first of all, is to put my camera into self-timer mode. So we'll go into the two second self-timer, just to give me a moment or two. And then I'm gonna put this up against this white window frame, and this is where I'm getting the reflections from. Let me come over so you can see it. It's this window frame here, the sunlight, What's left of it is coming through the window, it's reflecting off this white off the wall, and that's what I'm seeing, so that's what I'm gonna cover with my jacket. So let's get that right up against that white to reduce that, and then the other side's gonna come right the way across, but I'll just start the camera, bring that across, and there you go. Have a look at the difference. Without the black bag, reflections, but with my black jacket, reflections are gone. So my last tip really concerns shooting through glass, but in a different circumstances. So let's say you're not at the Yotel here in New York, you're not on the 22nd floor, you're in something like, oh, I don't know, an aquarium, where you can't switch off the background lights to reduce the reflections, because if you switch off the lights, a lot of alarms go, and then security comes and it throws me out, or, or something like that. What you need is to try and minimize the reflections by using a filter. And this is, well, this is just my polarizing filter. It's actually mine. And uh, I carry this around with me all the time because it's not only handy for all the things that polarizing filters do. And if you're not sure what these do, go check out the Adorama Learning Center where there's loads of information about polarizing filters. But it can also be used to reduce reflections on glass. It's not a foolproof solution, but it can be a help. So there we go, if you follow those simple steps, you may find that your reflections are massively reduced and even completely removed. Now, if you wanna see more videos from me and the other great presenters here on Adorama TV, you've gotta click on the subscribe button. I'm Gavin Hoey, thanks for watching. great looking prints at low cost, be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.